So how do we find the molar mass of barium nitrate? Well, it turns out it's fairly straightforward. I'm going to use this table to help us out. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write the elements I see in the compound. So I see barium, Ba. I see nitrogen, N. And I see oxygen, O. The next thing is to write down the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of barium, there is an invisible one. That means there's one atom of barium in barium nitrate. Now for nitrogen, nitrogen is tied up in the nitrate polyatomic ion. Now inside of each single nitrate, there's one nitrogen, but you don't have one nitrate, you have two of them. So if in every one nitrate, there is one nitrogen, but you have two nitrates, that means you have two nitrogens in total. In other words, just take the subscript of nitrogen, multiply it by the subscript of the overall polyatomic ion. So simply, same exact concept for oxygen. You can simply just take this 3 and multiply it by a 2 to find a total of 6. And that should hopefully make sense. Inside of each single nitrate, there's 3 oxygens, but you have 2 nitrates, so there should be 6 oxygens in total. Simply then take those values of the atoms, the number of atoms that is, and multiply it by the mass of each element now. So that's where the periodic table comes into play. So let's take a look. Barium here has a mass of about 137.33. A nitrogen is about 14, oxygen is 16. These values represent gram per mole if you're doing molar mass or AMU if you're doing molecular mass. Isn't that kind of cool? Kind of represents the same thing, right? Even though they mean two very different mass values, but they do have the same numeric value. So let's plug them in. So we're going to do barium here. Barium has a value of about 137, 137.33. Nitrogen is going to be about 20... Uh, excuse me, 14.01, and then oxygen was 16, right? 16. So then all we have to simply do is multiply these, uh, multiply this row basically, right? The mass of barium multiplied by one barium should give us the total mass of then barium of 137. Point, let me make that three a little neater, right? 137.33. The total mass now of nitrogen in the compound, each nitrogen is 14, right? Multiplied by two, this should be about 28.02. And then same thing for oxygen. You got each oxygen weighs 16, right? You got six oxygen, so that's just going to be simply 96. 96. And to find now the total mass of the compound, add this up. That's it. Bada bing, bada boom, we're all done. So this is 261.35. Since we're finding molar mass, the units here are in grams per mole. And that's it. Now you know how to find the molar mass of barium nitrate. Thanks so much for tuning in. I do hope this helped. Like and subscribe if you can. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.